So I am a day late on this, but I do apologize. You got two videos going up. Uh, this one, and then I don't even know if it's going to be up before this one, but also the Fortnite Season X event and start of Chapter 2 with Season 11 or whatever it's called. We got new FNAF news. Uh, again, VR DLC, we have the Curse of Dreadbear. Kind of like this Frankenstein spring trap. No, not spring trap, sorry. Spring Freddy type animatronic. I don't know. We're going to watch the trailer, then we can um, analyze it, talk about my opinions on it, and maybe shoot around some theories. So, let's go. So here we are, Curse of Dreadbear. We're going to watch it through all the way once, and then we'll go uh, deeper into it next time. Okay, here we go. Graveyard. Ow. I have already seen this, so it's not like this is my first reaction to it. That was on the TV screen on the prize counter. And there he is, Dreadbear himself. Curse of Dreadbear. That's it, boys. Finals of Freddy's VR help wanted. So I know a few people have already mentioned this, but I think it's uh, worthy to point out as well. These two pump- wow, this is a great frame to pause on. <laughs> These two pumpkins right here are clearly a reference to uh, the Halloween animatronics on FNAF 4. Obviously, this is Nightmare Bloom Boy with his gigantic mouth and lots of teeth. And, you know, Jack of Chica. It's literally Chica carved into a pumpkin. Something that's interesting about this trailer is that Obviously, we're in a graveyard with some really creepy gates. You know, it's the stereotypical creepy-esque graveyard. But the thing that's different is that instead of gravestones, there are TV monitors. And also, was that the cupcake? Hold up. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Is that the cupcake? Let me see if I can get... Is that the cupcake? That's probably not the cupcake. But it's worth speculating. This, uh, my face cam is probably blocking it. This right here, people are referencing it to Jack O'Bonnie, which I can definitely see the resemblance. You know, this is his little pokey outy snoot thing, and those are his eyes. So, definitely got some reference to the Jack um, Chica and Jack O'Bonnie characters. So, I'm sure we're going to be seeing them in the new DLC. We also, we do know that there are six or eight, I think it might be, uh, is it six or eight new characters? I'm not sure. But in the gallery, there was a leak that happened. I never talked about this because there wasn't really much to go off of, unfortunately. But there was a leak um, for this update on the PS4 VR. And, you know, there was a, uh, a candy bin you could click on. And then um, you can go into the gallery. You could see the Withered animatronics where there are all four of them. And then there were also six or eight new characters that were going to be added. We don't know who they are, but I'm guessing Jack O'Chica and Jack O'Bonnie are one of them. Or at least two of them, and then I'm sure Dreadbear is going to be another. And we get up to the monitor, and again, some people are referencing... Well, before this trailer came out, we were thinking that this is Pizza Sim, because this looks like the monitor in Pizza Sim. But we now know that it's something entirely different. It's Curse of Dreadbear. This right here was in the, uh, like I said, on the TV screen in the prize counter. And then there he is. Dread Bear himself in all of his glory. It's got a few more pumpkins under them. None of them seem to be referencing anything um, that we know of so far. But as you can see, he's got the little Frankenstein monster, little bolts out of his <laughs> out of his jaw, out of his neck, whatever. And he's also it looks like he's been stitched together, kind of like Glitch Trap, which is interesting. And he's also got the iconic, you know, Freddy top hat and bow tie. His teeth are a lot more. Chunky, I guess you could say. <laughs> it does look like Freddy, but at the same time it doesn't, which makes sense because he's Dreadbear, he's not Freddy. He's he's probably, some people are saying that this is a uh, version of, you know how Glitch Trap was a version of Spring Bonnie, some people are saying that Dreadbear is a version of Fredbear, or Spring Freddy, whatever you want to call him. So, I think that's probably the most likely resemblance we can make, Curse of Dreadbear, obviously. Yeah, so that was very, very, very interesting. And now we can talk about my opinion on the trailer and also some... Well, I guess we've already gone over some possible theories, but we can still look further into them, you know? Now, don't get me wrong, okay? I am really, really excited for more content for Help Wanted. I am so, so happy that it's getting more content. I... The, 
the the two main issues with this trailer though and on like i said i am really really hyped for this but these two things are pretty important when it comes to um help wanted and dlc the first thing we know that obviously this is a halloween dlc and halloween's only what two and a half weeks away and we didn't get a uh, we didn't get a release date which is strange because we could just assume that's going to be released on Halloween. We could assume that. But, at the same time, Steel Wool has a tendency of just dropping DLC out of nowhere. For example, the Withers, they literally just added them randomly one day and people were like, Well, guess they're here, gotta make a video on that. I was at lunch when that happened. I was at lunch with my cousins. So, that's why I was late on that. So. The fact that we don't have a release date really really bothers me and the other thing that bothers me is that we don't have a price. Now obviously, this is a very big DLC, it's unlike the Withers where it was just one level and a few new characters. This is possibly an entire new section of levels, kind of like Nightmare Mode but Halloween Mode. So obviously this is going to- I'm, I'm saying obviously a lot, I don't mean to be- <laughs> It's like I'm Scott, and I'm just saying you know a lot. I'm sorry, Scott. So the fact that we don't have a release date and we don't have a price for this pretty big update to the game that, that's really gonna change a lot really, really bothers me. I'm not gonna lie. Everything, again, I'm super, super excited for this. I love the concept of Dreadbearer. I love that they're kind of going with their own, I guess, not really going with their own story, but adding new characters and new plot lines. I love that. But I just really wish we had just a little bit more information about this new DLC. Again, we have seen references to Jack of Bonnie and Jack of Chica. So I think there are three characters we can basically confirm for this update. Jack of Chica, Jack of Bonnie, and Dreadbear. The, whether or not Dreadbear is actually going to be a character that we can interact with, or if he's just going to kind of be looming around us like Bloodtrap was, uh, we don't know. We, don't, we really don't know anything about this guy, so there's not really much to go off of, you know? But, like I said, I think he is going to be this Halloween version of Glitch Trap, where he just kind of looks at us. You know, we might even get more tapes. Then again, I don't know if we will, because I don't know if this is actual. That's the thing about Help Wanted, the fact that it's a canon VR title, and that it references other games, and of course, Scott is not canon as opposed to what some people believe, he's not canon, trust me. We don't know if this is added content for the Fazbearer virtual reality experience, or if this is new content for FNAF or Help Wanted. Do you know what I mean? That's another thing I don't really like about Help Wanted, is that it just, it's too complicated, it's too confusing. <laughs> That's why I didn't do many theories on it. So this DLC definitely is going to change a lot for Help Wanted, and again, Super super excited for that. I'm always down. I even stated this in my in my like full playthrough of the game I really wish there was more content and Finally, we're getting it after a few months You can tell Steel Wool and Scott have been working very very hard on this DLC and it just looks It look it looks absolutely phenomenal Obviously hand unit will be returning Andy Fields gonna um, be coming back as again from the leak we saw um, I think it was about a week ago a week and a half maybe um, there was an instructor instructing us, but it wasn't a uh, hand unit. That's probably because Andy just didn't send them the lines yet. And keep in mind, that was a very, very, very early version of... Actually, no, it wasn't, because wasn't the update like 3 gigabytes or something? I don't know, it was a pretty big update, <laughs> the leak, so... Yeah, some people were assuming that the levels were there and ready. They were just they were just waiting for you know a few extra small details like the um, how to get there and obviously um, Andy's voice lines. So maybe just maybe this update isn't that far away. But again, I really wish I had a release date and a price because again, for an update as big as this, surely there's gonna be a price tag on it. But I really have no clue. That's it. Sorry to keep you guys waiting for this video. Again, we have two going up. Please, please watch the Fortnite one. I know not many of you guys are fans of it, but apparently this is the end. Apparently this is the final event for Fortnite until Chapter 2 comes out probably immediately after the event. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys will enjoy 
next one coming up. I did say on Twitter that maybe, just maybe, there'll be a stream tomorrow, but I cannot promise that. So, thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye!